So what you see here is a wonderful assortment of nuts and dried fruit and all kinds of treats. We're gonna make healthy truffles. We started out with a lemon lavender blueberry flavor and we added some raw cashews, some organic oats to our dried blueberries and lavender and just gave those a whirl in the food processor until everything was pretty much finely ground but with still some texture. To that we added some fresh lemon zest and some lemon juice. We also mixed in coconut oil, melted, and honey to hold it all together. The next flavor of healthy truffle we came up with was apricot, date, walnut, coconut, also added a little maple syrup, and that really made a beautiful golden mixture. The next amazing flavor that the participants came up with was a hazelnut, chocolate, cherry, rose petal version of a healthy truffle. And after each of the mixtures were created, we let them chill in the refrigerator for about a half hour, and then we began to roll them into candy size or bite size truffles. And I also wanna add that each of these mixtures had a little healthy kick to it aside from the awesome ingredients. For example, the lemon blueberry lavender also included turmeric. The apricot walnut date bar included maca powder and the chocolate cherry rose petal included beet powder as well as a supercharged cocoa blend with reishi mushroom and astragalus in it. So these are definitely healthy treats. Next came the fun part of creating herb-infused sugars. We made lavender sugar, and we also had a rose petal sugar to roll the finished little decadent treats in once we were done. Some of them just got rolled in a regular unsweetened cocoa powder, which is always delicious. One other option that we used to roll the truffles in was the combination of gomazio and sugar, which is sesame seeds, sea salt, and sugar. And that really gave a really nice crunch on the outside, as well as that little touch of salt, as in when you get a, you know, a salted caramel version of something. So that really turned out good too. Once we were finished giving all of our treats their little coating, we then put them in some adorable little Valentine mini muffin cups so that they really um, were dressed to impress for Valentine's Day. And I think everything turned out amazing.